All right, welcome everyone. We'll begin in just a second. Let's do a quick sound check. Testing, 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 testing. All right, sound is good. Uh, I already got my Talit on, but let's do the blessing real quick. Bless are you, Lord our God, Lord of the universe, who give blesses with the Talit. Put on my kippah here. Whew. All right, how we looking? We looking good. Let me back up. So as you probably can tell, I'm in the hotel. Yeah, I told you I was going to be out of town today, so I'm pre-recording. So I'm doing Hotel City today. Got to do that a lot in August as well. Let me adjust this. How am I looking? Okay. <laughs> All right, well... Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. Happy Friday. Yom Shishi. Happy Friday. Wow, I am pumped. It's already Friday. Wow, that's great. That means it's the weekend tomorrow. And you can just go around going, Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. So if you hear me kind of in a whisper, I feel like I'm right by the hallway. So everybody's like kind of like walking by. And it's real noisy. Not to mention, I don't have any of my musical stuff, which is not very much. And, you know, my musical talent isn't like the greatest anyway. So you don't get to hear my musical treats tonight. Yay, probably, right? But you'll still, I'll still do the prayers and the blessings. We'll just do it standard. Like I did last time I was doing the hotel tour. So, and you guys get to hear me again do this in about two weeks when I'm in San Diego. But just so you know, you know, just to kind of give you a heads up where I'm at. I am about 30 miles away from our house. We're in, uh, well, I'd say more like 30 minutes in Sonoma. I wouldn't say really 30 miles, but 30 minutes away. We're in Sonoma. So that's uh, wine country still. So for all those of you ready to do some wine tasting, this is where we're at. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and begin. Let's get a little warm up and let's do the pull on a shema. Like I said, I'm probably not going to do a whole lot of singing today. But I might do a little bit. So, Psalm 156, let all the breeze praise God. Hallelujah. See, when you're practicing on the bongos, now you can. I can just use the desk, you know. Sounds like my bongos. Hope you can hear it. Just having a little fun. Uh, Shabbat Shalom, everyone. I love you guys so much. But hey, I wanted to say something real quick. Oh, wait. I almost forgot to introduce myself, too. For those of you, if this is your first time watching us, I am Rabbi Yak, located outside of San Francisco in Santa Rosa. Mouth page is an online spiritual community and online Jewish synagogue. Every Friday is our Shabbat service, live at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Center Time. Sometimes we can't go live like tonight, so I will post it by 6 o'clock. Check out our website, www.mouthpage.com, and every Monday through Thursday is our live week down motivations. You get to see a different me all week of doing that, and I go crazy fun, I hope. I hope you like what I do. But here's the good news I just want everybody to know. We just surpassed 50,000 followers on Facebook. Wow. 50,000. Man, we are up there now. We are big time. Because I check so many uh, churches and Jewish synagogues, so onlines, and that have been going around, been doing this for a long time, and they're like in the hundreds and thousands. Some of them are like 80,000. We've been doing this for 57 weeks, and we're already at 50,000. 50,000 more. We're going to be in the big leagues with not even half of the time. So that is awesome. By tell, but once we get to 200,000, we're gonna like surpass some places that have been doing this a long time. So we are doing something really outstanding, really something real amazing. We're touching a lot of people fast. That's what it's all about. So we're helping other people, 50,000 in a year. Wow, a new goal. 
is 100,000. I'd like to do it by next month, but that's probably not going to be realistic. But by the end of the year, before December 31st. So let's go ahead and continue with our Shabbat service. All right, so let's do the the Hini Matov. How good and pleasant is it for brothers and sisters to dwell together in unity? Hini Matov Umanayim Shavachem Gam Yachad. Yom Shabbat Shalom. How lovely today is Shabbat Shalom. Let's do the Yedid Nefesh. Yedid Nefesh Avarachama Meshuka Daka Al Razanaka Yeruta Daka Kmo Ael Ishtakavea El Mohadaraka Heart's Light Source of Mercy. You draw into your servant's arms. I leap like a deer and stand ah before you. Kieshema Shabbat. Kieshema Shabbat Al Shemreni. O he lail me ad benue uveni. Ile kandalivi. Oh wait. When I keep Shabbat, God watches over me. It is a sign forever between God and me. God is my heart's desire, appear do not hide. Amen. So let's go ahead and welcome Shabbat. May the door of the synagogue be wide enough to receive all who hunger for love, all who are lonely for friendship. May it welcomes. May it welcome all who has cares to unburden, thanks to express, hopes to nurture. May the door of the synagogue be narrow enough to shut out pettiness, pride, and envy and animosity. May its threshold be no stumbling block to young or straying feet. May it be too high to admit complacency, selfishness, and harshness. May the synagogue be for all who enter the doorway into a richer and more meaningful life. Amen. Sorry, I had to scoot this up because it was so far and I'm like, I got my glasses on. I'm like an old man. I can't see. <laughs> I have to have my little coffee joe here. See, I missed the weeknight motivations, and probably you guys do too, because I, I am just, you know, I have so much fun. So when you're Shabbat, I have to tune it down, you know. So <laughs> you can hear a little bit of my energy coming out, but I got to keep it, keep it slow. Uh, let's. I don't have my candles here because you know we're at a hotel, so I'm you know I don't want them to kick me out for lighting. So I'm going to simulate with the lighting of the candle. So if you do have a candle, you want to go ahead and light it. Let's go ahead and light it right now. Let's do the candle blessing. Shabbat. Bless are you, Adonai. Our God, sovereign universe, who holds us to the mitzvot, commanding us to kindle the light of Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. All right, let's do the Psalms. It is time for Psalm 95. Come, let us sing joyously to Adonai. Raise a shout for our rock and deliver. Let us come into God's presence with praise. Let us raise a shout for God in song. For Adonai is a great God, the great ruler of all divine beings. In God's hands are the depths of the earth, and the peaks of the mountains are God's. God is the sea, God made it, and the land which God's hands fashioned. Come, let us bow down and kneel. Bend the knee before Adonai our maker. For Adonai is our God, and we are the people. Amen. Amen. Psalm 97. Adonai is sovereign. Let the earth exalt, the many islands rejoice. Dense clouds are our own God. Righteousness and justice are the base of God's throne. O you who love Adonai hate evil, God guards the lives of God's little ones, saving them from the hand of the wicked. The light is sown for the righteous, radiance for the upright. O you righteous, rejoice in Adonai and acclaim God's holy name. Amen. Psalm 98. Sing to Adonai a new song, for God has worked wonders. God's right hand, God's holy arm, has won God's victory. Adonai has manifested God's victory, has displayed God's triumph in the sight of the nations. God was mindful of God's steadfast love and faithfulness towards the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth beheld the victory of our God. Raise a shout to Adonai, all the earth. Amen. Psalm 99. Adonai, I am thrown on a cherubim. 
is sovereign. Peoples tremble. The earth's quake. Adonai is great in Zion and exalted above all the people. They praise your name as great and awesome. God is holy. Mighty ruler who loves justice. It was you who established equity. You work righteous of judgment in Jacob. Exalt Adonai our God and bow down in God's foothold. Footstool. God is holy. Amen. All right, Psalm 29. Ascribe to Adonai, O divine beings. Ascribe to Adonai, glory and strength. Ascribe to Adonai, the glory of God's name. Bow down to Adonai, majestic and holiness. The voice of Adonai is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. Adonai over the mighty waters. The voice of Adonai is power. The voice of Adonai is majesty. The voice of Adonai breaks cedars. Amen. Amen. Let's do Psalm 92. It is good to praise Adonai, to sing hymns to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your steadfast love at daybreak, your faithfulness each night with a ten-stringed harp, a voice and lyre together. You have gladdened me by your deeds, Adonai, I shout for your joy at your handiwork. How great are your works, Adonai, how very supple your designs. A brute cannot know, a fool cannot understand this. Amen. Amen. Psalm 93. Adonai is sovereign, God is robed with grandeur. Adonai is robed. God is girded with strength. The world stands firm. It cannot be shaken. Your throne stands firm of old. From eternity you have existed. The ocean sounds, Adonai, the ocean sounds its thunder. The ocean sounds its pounding above the thunder of the mighty waters, more majestic than the breakers of the sea. Amen. Amen. All right, let's do... A song about the angels, the Shalom Aleichem. Probably not going to do much of the song, but we'll definitely do the blessing portion. Shalom Aleichem, Malchai Asherat, Malchai Yomim, Melch Malchai Yom Lakim Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Bolchem Shalom Malchai, Shalom Malchai Yomim, Melch Malchai Yom Lakim Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Peace be to you, O ministering angel, messengers of the Most High, majesties of majesties, holy one of blessing. Enter in peace, O messengers of peace, angels of the Most High, majesties of majesty, holy one of blessing. Bless me with, bless me with peace, O messengers of peace, angels of the Most High, majesties of majesties, holy one of blessing. Depart in peace, O messengers of peace. Angels of the Most High, Majesties of Majesties, Holy One of Blessing. Amen. Right, let's do the Chatsi Kaddish. Yitzgedah v'yitkadash b'nei Rabbah b'yaman d'ibrach yateh b'yamlech malchute b'chayechonu v'yamechonu v'chayedek ho b'at Yisrael b'hagala b'hagala Uvuzman karevimru, amen. Yehisheme rabba mavorak, le'alam lo me'amaya, yet barak, yet brahak, v'yishtabak, v'yipayar, v'yomam, v'yitnaseh, v'yit hadaha, v'yir halev, v'yir halel, shemide kudusha, barechu leila min kol berkata v'shirata, tush berkata v'nechem ata, daha mihiram be'alam, Vimaru, Amen. Exalted and hallowed in God's great name and the world which God created according to plan. May God's majesty be revealed in the days of our lifetime and all the life of Israel. Speak in the truth to say, Amen. Blessed be God's great name to all eternity. Blessed praise, honor, and exalted, extolled, glorified, adored, and lauded be the name of the Holy Blessed One. Be on all earthly words and songs of blessing, praise, and comfort to which you say, Amen. Amen. All right. It is Friday, Friday night, Kabbalah Shabbat, right? Friday night evening Shabbat. Grab your phone, your email, just yell at the person in your room and say, Shabbat Shalom. This is a great greeting, Shabbat Shalom. Peace on Sabbath, or hello on Sabbath. Or you could say, Shabbat Shalom, goodbye on Sabbath, because you're leaving, right? To someone's house or going to eat, Shabbat Shalom. Wish someone Shabbat. As many people as you know, send them a text. This is the best time. This is this is the time. Don't forget, Shabbat is also in the Ten Commandments. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Let's do the Baruch Hu. Baruch Hu Adonai Avrach. Baruch Adonai Avrach. Baruch Adonai Avrach. Baruch Adonai Avrach.
praise Adonai, to whom praise is due forever. Praise be Adonai, to whom praise is due now and forever. Let's do the Ma'ariv Aravim. Baruch Atadonai, Allahana Ma'afalam, Asher Bivaro, Ma'ariv Aravim, Bechokma Potek, Sharem, Uvvana, Mishne Itim, Umachalit, Et Hazmanim, Umasadir, Et Hakuchavim, Bemish Miratim, Berakia Kirtzon, Brayam, Balala, Gwala, Bimakoshet, Bachoshet, Umneor, Mavir Yamu, Mubin Lala, Mabil Bain Yamu, Bain Lala, Adonai's vote Shmo, Al Kai Bechayam, Tamid of Mokalin, and the Alam Bayad, Baruch Atadonai, Ma'ariv Aravim. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who speaks the evening into being, skillfully opens the gates, thoughtfully alters the time, and changes the season, and arranges the stars in their heavenly courses according to plan. You are creator in day of night, ruling light away from darkness and darkness from light, transferring day into night and distinguishing one from the other. Adonai vote is your name, ever living God. You may reign continually over us to eternity. Amen. Baruch Tanai Hamariv Aravim. Let's do the Ahabat Olam. Ahabat Olam Beit Israel, Ka Ata, Torah, Umitzbok, Kim, Umishpatim, Otano, Limata, El Ken, and Onai, Lahanu, Beshofenu, Uv Kumenu, Nasek, Bechecheche, Benismach, Bedere, Tracha, Uv Mitzvotecha, Lelam Bayad, Kihem Chanu, Barak, Yeminu, Uvahem, Nege, Yuman, Balala, Beacha, Al Tasir, Mimenu, Lelamim, Brok Tadnai, I have a Mo Israel, Everlast, and love you, offer your people Israel by teaching us Torah and Mitzvot, laws and precepts, therefore, I our God, when we lie down, when we rise up, we will meditate on your laws and your commandments. We will rejoice in your Torah forever. Day and night, we will reflect on them, for they are our life, and doing them lengthens our days. Never remove your love from us. Praise you, Adam and I, who love your people, Israel. Baruch Atad and I, O Heaven, O Israel. All right, let's do the Shema. Shema Israel, Adonai, Lohanu, Adonai, Akad. Baruch, Shem Kavod, Mahuto, Le'olam, Shema Israel, I don't know, 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 I don't Israel, I don't know, 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 I And I'm right by the hallway. It sounds like there's a kitchen outside. What are they like dropping plates and stuff? <laughs> the hallway. This is in a kitchen. <laughs> it's very noisy. You shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might. Take to heart these instructions with which I charge you to stay and press them upon your children. Recite them when you stay at home, when you are away, when you lie down, and when you get up. Bind them as a sign in your hand and let them serve on the symbol of your forehead. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house, on your gates, that you shall remember to observe all my commandments. And be holy to your God. I am Adonai your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am Adonai your God. Adonai Allah Achami Met. That's a good one because... The Torah portion tonight, we're going to talk about Exodus, the Ten Commandments. My favorite. I love talking about that. Who is like you, O God, among the gods that are worshipped? Who is like you, majestic and holiness, awesome and splendid, working wonders? Your children witness your sovereignty to cease putting before Moses and Miriam. This is our God, they cried. I don't know, will reign forever and ever. Thus it is said, I don't know, redeem Jacob from a hand stronger than his own. Praise you, I don't know, God, for redeeming Israel. Work that on God, Israel. Amen.
خاشکی بنو خاشکی بنو ارنا و هنلی شلون به هم دنو شمرنو و خیام و فروس و لنس و فاشل نخه به تاتنه به ذات تو بار نو فنخه به هوشینه و معاش مخه به هگان به عادنه به اسیر میلنه و یاب د ویر به خره به راع به یگون به هرخ منو ابون و فاشا و بتل کنا فخ تاسترنو کی ال شمرنو و متلین و تا کی ال خنو و رخو ما تا و سمو تزنو و وینو و خیام و شلوم یا تا و ادولام بروخ تا نه حبرس و قاچ لوم لین و یاقو اسرائیل و یال یروشلیم grant to god that we lie down in peace and raise us up our guardian to life renewed spread over us the shelter of your peace Guide us with your good counsel for your name's sake. Be your help, shield, and shelter us beneath the shadow of your wings. Defend us against enemies, illness, war, famine, and sorrow. Distance us from wrongdoing. For you, God, watch over us and deliver us. For you, God, are gracious and merciful. Guard our going and coming to life and to peace forevermore. Amen. All right, Vishamru. Vishamru ben Israel at Hashabat Laso at Hashabat Laratam Brit Olam beni Avain ben Israel Ohi Leilam Kicheshevi Masaranai at Hashamaim that Arad Uvayom Hashvi Shabbat ben Afash. The people of Israel shall keep Shabbat, observing Shabbat through the ages as a covenant for all time. It is a sign for all time between me and the people of Israel. For in six days Adonai made heaven and the earth, and on the seventh day God ceased from work and was refreshed. Amen. Amen. All right, it is time for the Mita. If you're able to, please rise. If you're not, then we will continue with the Amita and we'll simulate that you're rising. All right, here we go. Adonai, sivtai tiftach ufiyagid tehilatecha. Adonai, open up our lips that my mouth may declare your glory. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu ve'Elohei Avotinu ve'Yomotinu Elohei Avraham Elohei Yitzchak ve'Elohei Yaakov Elohei Sarah Elohei Rakha Elohei Rachel Elohei Leia Ha'el Hagidol Hagibor ve'Anora El Elyon Gomel Chazadim Tovim v'Kane Hakol v'Zacher Chazayavot v'Mahot Umavi Geula Levni v'Nehem Lema'an Shmo Ba'Aba Melak Uzir Umashi Umagin Baruch atah Adonai Magen Avraham ve'Ezrat Sarah Blessed are you Adonai our God Sarah God of our fathers and mothers, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, God of Sarah, God of Rebecca, God of Rachel, God of Leah, the great, mighty, and awesome God, transcendent God, who bestows loving kindness, creates everything out of love, remembers the love of our fathers and mothers, and brings redemption to their children, children for the sake of the divine name. Sovereign deliver, helper, and shield, bless are you, Adonai, Sarah's helper, Abraham, shield. All right, it is time for a silent prayer. Let's bow our heads. Alright, let's go ahead and pray for the state of Israel. We pray for the land of Israel and its people. May its borders know peace and its inhabitants tranquility. May the bonds of faith and fate which unite the Jews of all lands be a source of strength to Israel and to us all. God of all lands and ages, answer our constant prayer with Zion once more aglow. With light for us and for all the world. Amen. Alright, it is time to start breaking out the Torah. We'll do the Torah Ora. Israel, ve Oraita, ve Kucha, Berechu, Chadhu, Israel, ve Oraita, ve Kucha, Berechu, Chadhu. Torah Ora, Torah Ora, Hallelujah. Torah Ora, Torah Ora, Hallelujah. Torah Ora, Torah Ora. Hallelujah. Torah, ora, Torah, ora. Hallelujah. Israel and Torah. 
and the Holy One, blessed be He, are one. The Torah is light. Hallelujah. All right, let's start breaking out the Torah. Let's take out the Torah. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Echad, Eloheinu, Gado, Adonai Kadosh, Benora, Shemo. Gado, Adonai Iti, Uno Rama, Shemo Yachdo. And the ark was carried forward, Moses would say, Rise, Adonai, that your enemies be scattered and your foes be put to flight. The Torah shall emanate from Zion, the word of Adonai from Jerusalem, praises God, who in holiness bestowed Torah to the people of Israel. Baruch Adonai Mavrach, Baruch Adonai Hamavrach, Lelam Vayed, Baruch Adonai Elohim Malkom Asher, Al Karbanu Mekol Ha'amim, Binatan Lanu Et Torah To, Baruch Adonai Notena Tara, Blessed Adonai, who is be blessed, Blessed Adonai, who is be blessed forever, Blessed Adonai, Ruler of the Universe, who chose us from among the people and gave us your Torah, Blessed are you, Adonai, who gives us the Torah. This is the Torah which Moses placed before the people of Israel, God's word through the hand of Moses. All right, so tonight's Torah portion is Parshat Yitro, Exodus 18 through 20. So there's a lot of good Torah portion info here. And a lot of the spiritual leaders will pick their version of what they want to talk about. But for those of you who have been following me for a year, know that one of my favorite topics is the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments. As Mel Brooks would do in his movie, he had the Fifteen Commandments, and he drops one of the tablets, the Ten Commandments. So, we've been talking about Exodus for the last couple of weeks in the Torah portions. And now we're at the part where Moses is receiving the Ten Commandments from God. First of all, let's go over the Ten Commandments. Now, the most important part of this is the very beginning. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of slavery. Here we go. You should have no other gods before me. You shall not make false images. Worship false gods. Number two. Number three. You should not use the Lord's name in vain. Number four. Remember the Sabbath day to be holy. Five. Honor your mother and father. Six. Thou shalt not murder. Seven. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Eight. Thou shalt not steal. Nine. Thou shalt not give false testimony. Thou shalt not lie. And ten. Thou shalt not covet. Okay, so, very first part of the Ten Commandments. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God out of the house of bondage and slavery. Now, this part is in the Be'ah top prayer. Now, why is this so important? So, think about this. For all of us fellow Jews, we know all the struggles that our people have gone through over the years. We have. We know. We know all the destructions. We know all the the struggles. And we also know all the times that we have been persecuted. I am the Lord who got a brought you out of Egypt is for us to remember how powerful brainwashing can be. How powerful words can be by people. So if you look back at Egypt, their people, like the Pharaoh and his people, he was able to convince everybody that the Hebrews were bad. And as the Pharaohs passed on from generations to generations, each Pharaoh got a little bit meaner till they got to a point where they wanted to kill all the Hebrew male boys. So. Think about this for just a second. So I am the Lord, you got a brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God out of the house of the land of slavery. So God wants us to remember this, because think about this. We talk about slavery years ago in a lot of different places, in a lot of different ethnicities, a lot of different groups. And people think of slavery, it's kind of like bullying, right? Where you have the big kid pushing the little kid around for milk money. Slavery, you're locked up in chains and you're getting hit with whips. 
Not saying that none of that's tr not true, because it is true. But that's a part. That's a that's a part of it. The other part is in here. It's the mind. So think about this. The Pharaoh tells all of the people of Egypt and the soldiers that any time that there is a newborn male, you're supposed to kill it. So all these people are supposed to report back to the Pharaoh. Let them know. Okay, that's the first problem. Backstabbing one another. So you're telling me. Because the Pharaoh told you to do it. You have to do it. Well, they're probably scared to death. They're probably scared of something to happen to them or their family, or they won't be able to eat, or they'll become slaves. So that's how it works. And we've seen this time and time again. This is going to happen to us again in Purim, the book of Esther, even though it's not in the Bible. But it also happened to us in Germany. Uh, the Greeks were trying to do the same thing to us. So again, to manipulate people. Hitler convinced millions of his people that Jews were bad. And then even after the war, they were so messed up here that even the Jews still had to leave because the Germans hated them so bad. So that's why that part of the Ten Commandments is so important. We have to help people from brainwashing each other into what is right versus what is wrong. I'm starting to see a lot of what is wrong is right and what is right is wrong. It's our job to help each other. That's why God wants us to know the Ten Commandments like the back of our hands. Two, you should have no other gods before me. Now that is so important because when you start worshiping other gods, like Pharaoh was kind of like a god to people, where people were worshiping him. That was a problem. Innocent people were dying. Innocent people were getting hurt, starving, beating to death. Why? Just like in Germany. I was, you know, I was watching documentaries on it, and they were just shooting women and children just because they were Jewish or they weren't moving fast enough. Well, what god are you worshiping? To do that to another human being, who cares what your skin color is, or what you speak, or what your ethnicity is, or what your religion is? Who cares? You're God's people too. We're all God's people, but what God are you worshiping? So you have no other gods. Let God make those decisions. Let God help you lead the way. Three, you should not make any false images, false idols. Don't worship false gods, false idols. That's important. Nothing wrong with enjoying TV or enjoying your material things or enjoying stuff that you want. But don't make that worship. Don't put that in front of God. Number one and number two, put God first. Put God first. Don't worship anything falsely. So number one, you shall have no other gods. Put God first. You put God first, we're not going to have slavery problems. Number three, don't curse a guy. Don't use God's name in vain. Don't talk bad about God. We talked about that last night. Don't talk bad about God. Because this is number three. This is number three on the commandment list. It's ranks up there, extremely high, right underneath the first two. So it's even before Shabbat. Sabbath day is number four. Remember the Sabbath day. Keep it holy. This is a big day. This is ranked fourth on the list. Fourth on the list. That means God wants us to take a break. Now, why is that important? Why is taking a break important? Why? Because of just like in the Nazi concentration camps. I was watching this documentary, and one of the soldiers said that they were told that you keep them, them working non-stop so they can't pray, they can't believe in any hope. Keep them starved so they can't think, so they can't retaliate, so they don't have any chance to pray for God, they have no chance to, to fight back, they're weak. Pharaoh did the same thing. Constant, 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 constant. So if you're constantly working, you're forgetting about God. So God even took a break. So take a break. That's what that means. Get your chance to get back with God. Get your priorities straight. Recharge the batteries. What is important? Is it work? 
Where is it, God? Yeah, well, it pays the bills. But again, don't let work make you a slave. Worship God. That's what that means, right? God wants us to have a break. Number five, honor your parents. I see that a lot. A lot of us, a lot of people kind of disrespectful to your parents. Honor your parents. <sighs> again, that's number five. That's before the next five that we're going to go over. So number six, thou shalt not murder. And we all know, but don't, don't hurt other people. That's what that means. Don't hurt other people. It could also be dissected in a lot of other things, too. Taking things away from people, too. Think about it. Now, when I say don't harm other people, you can also mentally harm other people. Hitler did it. Stalin did it. Uh, a lot of, you know, hundreds of other leaders have done that. People have done that. The Pharaoh has done that. Hurting other people. Causing harm mentally. Causing harm to other people. Like I'm starting to see a lot more bullying. You know, when you see that at school where one person makes fun of another, another person, and all of a sudden they're harming this person. Even if they're not hurting them physically, they're hurting them mentally. How many people are committing suicides because of cyberbullying? Happens all the time. So do you think that isn't? Don't harm another person? Yes. Number seven. Don't cheat on your spouse. Don't cheat on your loved one. Don't commit adultery. Don't cheat. Because if you start doing that, it's much more than just that. Then all of a sudden, multiple commandments start to stack on top of the other. Because then if you cheat, then you, you lie. So now you go from seven to nine, right? Seven, nine, eight is don't steal. Don't take things that don't belong to you steal someone's heart from them, right? You know, because of their love. Now you got number nine, which don't lie. We don't have that. Don't lie. Now let me put that in perspective. In my opinion, if you steal something, big or small, value doesn't matter to God. If you steal, you steal. Now, in laws, yes, there is value. One value holds a higher penalty than another. But in God's law, stealing is stealing. Lying is lying. In God's eyes and his laws, the commandments, lying is lying. Remember that. And last is don't covet. Don't want things that aren't yours. Greed, jealousy, it becomes consuming. Like here it says don't covet anything like your neighbor's house, your neighbor's wife, your neighbor's donkey, your neighbor's female servant, male servant. Basically, don't be jealous. Don't want things that aren't yours. And start dreaming about, oh my gosh, I want a bigger house. I want a bigger car. I mean, I see our debt ratio. Oh my gosh, so many people are constantly refinancing their homes, wanting more and more and more and more. Sell their house after a couple of years and want another. Get divorces because they want another person. That's fine. Do what you want. That's great. All I'm telling you is when I dissect away the, the Ten Commandments, God wants us to be happy with what we have. Because look at other people out there who don't have all these cool things that we might have. They're just happy to be alive. They're just happy to have their family and friends. Let's be happy to have their family and friends. Now, I know a lot of people probably don't like talking about the Ten Commandments because it can get really tricky. I love it because we pray as Jews. We always pray about the Via Hafta. We talk about, remember... God's commandments and his laws. Well, if we're not talking about them, how are people not going to know? We have to launch these. We have to continue to remind. I say these every day. Makes me a better person. I'm not perfect. I'm not saying I don't make mistakes. And I'm not saying that I'm always perfect. I'm not even close. But these laws keep me to where I, if I start to teeter, I get back on the totter. I get back. That's what these laws do keeps you balanced. All right. Hope you enjoyed my take on tonight's tour portion.
So there will be times in our lives that's so hard that you just want to throw in the towel. And at times you'll feel like your life is falling apart. But remember to keep God's commandments. There's that word, commandments, mitzvot, commandments. And God will get you through it. God will help you through any times, good or bad. When things seem to be really hard, tougher than they, you can possibly imagine, make a promise. Make those prayers to God. And most important, honor His rules and laws. Don't forget to pass them on to your children's children. I almost forgot on commandment number three about cursing God or saying God's name badly, misusing His name. Blaming God for every bad thing that ever happens to us too. Be careful with that. We don't realize how bad that is. And if that's a commandment violation, that's up there. That's number three. So be careful with that. So blessed are you, and I, ruler of the universe, who gave us the Torah of truth and implanted within us internal life. Blessed are you, and I, who gives us the Torah. Pray for peace. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, nor shall they rule in war anymore. Loya said, Goyal, Goy Karev, Loyal Mandu, Ol Gno Kama. All right, let's do the Misha Barak, which is the pray for healing. Misha Barak, Avotino, Me Kor Habracha, Limotino. May the source of strength be the one who's before us. Help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. So if you have anybody you want to pray for or healing, you can send me the chat function, send me a prayer request, send me an email. This is our chance to really help people. So let me get my list because we have a lot of healing prayers. And let's start with pray for my father-in-law. Uh, his healings are great. Um, now we're having care provider problems. We've lost, I think, his fifth care provider. Um, so we got to keep praying that we find the right ones. We need two. So we got to, you know, weekday and weekends. So we got to continue to keep helping, pray for um, his wife and his children because you know it's always tough for them too because not only is we praying for them but or for the our father-in-law but the children have, are affected and the wife is affected because seeing their dad and their and, and her husband you know in that position it makes it really hard and all the things that go along with that so thank you for all your healing prayers well, let's continue pray for my friend scott who's recovering from uh, his car accident with blood clots um, continue to you know get his rehab going better and then he just gets out of the hospital also for his wife Suzanne um, I heard she's getting much better from the accident as well keep praying for them pray for Ashton pray for Tony pray for Sharla pray for Vicki pray for Liza's father Laura's mother Kenny Ceci Terry Jeremiah Jason Joshua Edwina Edwin Juanita Juan Raul Sam's daughter, Roger, Robert, Stephanie's aunt, Greg's son, Ralph's mother, Rabbi Marvin Perlman, Rabbi Sherman, Rabbi Barbara. Pray for Marcus's back, Christina's family. Pray for Chuck's family, Bob's family, Janet's family, Clayton's family, who all lost their house in the Santa Rosa's fire, so pray for them as well. And pray for uh, Betty Ann, who uh, broke her leg. The other day, pray for quick healing for her as well. Amen. Misha Berach Yemotenu Mekor Habracha Labotenu Bless those in need in healing with Rufua Shlema The renewal of body, the renewal of spirit. And let us say, Amen. Thanksgiving blessing. Bless are you, Lord of God, world of the universe, who bestows kindness and those who are committed, and who has granted to me all kindness. May the one who has granted you all kindness, always grant kindness to you. Let's return the Torah. Praise you, Adonai, our God, sovereign and universe, rock of creation, righteous one of all generations, the faithful God, whose word is deed, whose every command is just and true, for the Torah, for the privilege, for the worship, for the prophets, and for the Shabbat that you, Adonai, our God, has given us a holiness and rest. For honor and glory, we thank you and bless you. May your name be blessed forever. Amen. Amen. The law of the Lord is perfect, restoring the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoice in the heart. The judgments of the Lord are true. They are righteous altogether. Behold, a good doctrine has been given unto you. Forsake it not. Amen. For I have given you a good instruction. Do not abandon my Torah. 
It is the tree of life for those who hold fast to it, steadfast to it, and all its supporters are happy. Its ways and ways are pleasantness, and all its paths are peace. Return us to you, Adonai, and we return new our days of old. Amen. Right, let's do the Elenu. Elenu le shabbat l'adol hon hakol le tek gedula le zer her brishi shalo asan akuliye harazo v'lo hosamanu k'mish b'chol hadama shalo sam chalkenu kaim v'gro alenu koho amonam v'nachnu korim umish takavim modim lefne melech malke hamakim. Hachadosh Baruch Hu V'nehemar V'haya Adonai V'melech Al-Ko Ha'aretz B'yom Ha'hu B'yom Ha'hu I'hiye Adonai Echad U'shemo 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 Echad Let us now praise the Sovereign of the Universe and proclaim the greatness of the Creator who has set us apart from the other families of the earth, giving us a destiny unique among the nations. We bend the knee and bow, acknowledging the Supreme Sovereign, the Holy One of Blessing. Thus it has been said, Adonai will be sovereign over all the earth. On that day, Adonai will be one, and God's name will be one. Let's go ahead and do the Mourner's Kaddish. So if you know anyone who has recently passed away, or if you're honoring a yard site, a yard site is an anniversary of someone, a loved one who passed away. Let's go ahead and do the mourner's Kaddish blessing. Yikadal v'yikadash shemei rabah, ve'amon de'varach rate, ve'amlech machute, ve'echa kanuk yimei kanuk ha'edeko be'israel ba'agala v'zman kareh v'yermu amen. Yei shemei rabah mavorach le'olam omei amai, yibarach v'yishtabach v'yipayar v'yirumam v'yaseh v'yadar v'yaleh v'yadalel shemei l'kudusha b'rakhu. Elemen kol berkata v'sharet v'tush berkata v'nekamata v'amiram v'elma v'elma amen. Yehesh l'alma rabba amen shmaya v'chayem melena v'elko Yisrael v'elma amen. Oseh shalom v'elma v'huya oseh shalom melena v'elko Yisrael v'elma amen. Exalted and hallowed be God's great name in the world which God created according to plan. May God's majesty be revealed in the days of our lifetime and the life of all Israel. Speak to the mentally to us and say amen. Blessed be God's great name to all eternity. Blessed praise honor and exalted. So glorified, adored, and lauded be the name of the Holy Blessed One, beyond all earthly words and songs of blessing, praise, and comfort, which is say, Amen. And may there be abundant peace from heaven and life for us and all Israel, which is say, Amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us and to all Israel, which is say, Amen. Amen. All right. We are coming to the end of our Shabbat service. Let's do, and we haven't done the Adon Olam in a while. So let's do the Adon Olam. Adon Olam, Asher Malach, Beterm Kol, Yedzir, Nira, Liet, Naasa, Bechavso, Kol, Azai, Melach, Shemo, Nekra. Bechare, Chicho, Hakol, Avadol, Yemloch, Nara, Behu Haya, Behu Hove, Behu Ihiye, Biti Fara, Behu Echad, Behen Shemi, Leham Shir, Lo, Lehach Bera, Bli Rashi, Bli Tachli, Belo Haoz, Beham Misra, Behu Ali, you are eternal God who reigned before any being had been created. When all was done according to your will, then you were called ruler. And after all ceases to be, you alone will rule in majesty. You have been, are yet, and will be in glory. And you are one, none other can compare to or consort with you. You are without beginning, without end. To you belong power and dominion. You are my God, my living and general, my lot, rock in times of trouble and distress. You are my standard barrier and my refuge, my benefactor when I call on you. And to your hands I address my spirit. When I sleep and when I awake, with my spirit, my body also. Adonai is with me. I shall not fear. Amen. Let's do the En Kaloheno, En Kaloheno, En Kadoneno, En Kamalkeno, En Kamoshino. Me Kaloheno, Me Kadoneno, Me Kamalkeno, Me Kamoshino. Nodele Aloheno, Nodele Aroneno, 
no de la mojero, no de la mochino, brook alano, brook alano, brook mochino, brook mochino, tahu alano, tahu alano, tahu mochino, tahu mochino. There's none like our God, there's none like our eternal one, there's none like our ruler, there's none like our redeemer. Who's like our God, who's like our eternal one, who's like our ruler, who's like our redeemer. We will give thanks for our God, we will give thanks for our eternal one, we will give thanks for our ruler, we will give thanks for our redeemer. Praise be our God, praise be our eternal one, praise be our ruler, praise be our redeemer. You are our God, you are our eternal one, you are our ruler, you are our redeemer. Amen, amen. And let's go ahead and do the Kiddush. If you have your wine or beverage or even coffee, Baruch HaTadonai Alehem HaChalom, raise it high. Bore Pari HaGafen. Praise to you, Adonai our God, Sovereign Universe, created the fruit of the vine. Praise you, our God, sovereign universe, who finding favor with us, sanctified us with the mental and love and favor. He made the holy Shabbat our heritage as a reminder of the work of creation. As first among our sacred days, it recalls the exodus from Egypt. Exodus from Egypt. You chose us and set us apart from the people. In love and favor, you have given us your holy Shabbat. Number four, as an inheritance. Praise you, Adonai, who sanctifies Shabbat. Baruch Adonai, may Kadesh Ha Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. I want to thank you so much for watching our Shabbat service. I know I'm in Hotel City, and um, I know I was a little quiet, not too rowdy tonight, but I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for being the best part. Have a wonderful Shabbat Shalom, and don't forget our wonderful, wonderful Shabbat. But don't forget Monday through Thursday, live on Facebook, seven o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you guys want to get pumped up, I don't care if you're Jewish or not Jewish. If you just want some spiritual guidance, you just want some great motivation, or laugh and giggle at this dude, that's fine. But it's not just oh, it's just oh, it's religious. Oh, so what if it is? Helping others to be nice is a good thing. Helping others to be nice is a good thing. It gets you away from all the other stuff. It frees you for a while. That's why God wants us to have a Sabbath, to give us a day to recharge. If you have a hard day, come watch me at night. Hopefully, you'll get pumped up. That's what we do. We have other things, too. Check out our website, www.mammothpage.com. We do a variety of other things. We do Bar Bat Mitzvah services, we do weddings, interfaith, all weddings. We do all weddings. We also have rabbi classes, Jewish conversions, Judaism 101. You want to call me, text me, you know, we do prayer requests. Also looking for singers, so check us out, but we're growing so fast. So I want to thank you all for watching tonight. Thanks for being the best part. I love you all. Don't forget, help others to be nice. God bless. I'll see you all on Monday.